And normally we should have a meditation practice in the end, but we will see. Recap of the pipa. And of course you can ask questions and greet. Greeting, I like greeting. Pipa. The last step of brushing your knee. Relax with it. We are using the snapshots as yoga asanas in the same style, you know, as we performed already in our beginning sequence. Relax with it. You know, coming to the left front leg. Try al to align your weight points, upper, middle, lower dantian. Feel the, feel your knee, it's very important. Hip direction is always to the foot of the standing leg. No. That your knee is never rotated with weight. It's physiological very important. No. So you might want to develop a pattern with this. No. That you're using your knees and your body throughout the day relaxed and good in a healthy <coughs> healthy relaxed way then the half half step it's also on youtube already then wait with your hip to the right while gazing to the front both hands are describing a half arc and left heel down, toes up and an A. No. One more time to the front. It's just a recap, you know. This one. Half step. That's our first snapshot for the pipa. Weight is in the left leg, a little bit in the right. Both hands are nearly to the middle without strain as always. Then the half arcs while coming to the back leg, standing up. And that's what we are performing one more time. <laughs> this one, last step. Coming to the half step, to the back. Yes, there's no in-between snapshots, really. Everything is moving. And just the last, playing the pipa, only two snapshots. Too bad. But relax with it. The Weight is in your right leg, so the hip is directed to the right. You are with your upper body twisted to the front. Left foot's heel is down and the toes up into the air. A 
and the left arm's fingertips are not higher than your nose. You know? Maybe. Okay. Very slow. Because everything is happening in between now. You know, your weight distributing your hip to the right while both hands are describing this half arc. And in the last step, you're still directed to the front with the upper body. In the last moment, you are forming this A with the arms while putting your left heel to the ground. One more time. Half step. And now both hands are performing the arc while distributing your hip to the right and in the last moment forming the A. Three times. <laughs> Three times as always. Last step. Half step. Gazing to the front. And A. And I know this movement of the hands is really something to get your head around. Of course, when you are know how to do it, it's easy. But in the beginning, it's usual to make a problem of it, <laughs> out of it. You know? So the hand movement is really, you're coming from this, yes. And then this hand is moving to the back in you know, in this circle, just in a half arc. And the other is coming in the other direction to the front. You know, so it's coming up, something like, like that. You know. That's my right hand. Left hand is coming up like bridges. And in that last moment, we are forming this A pointing to the wrist of your left hand. One more time. To the back with the right, and the left is coming to the front and then forming the A. Maybe some Qigong rotating exercises will do it for the next time. Have a nice Wednesday until the next stream or in person on the meadow in southeast of Berlin. Thank you.